Hey what's up David here with After Video Fix and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be creating this mountain scenery animation used with the Element 3D. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Okay so as you can see we've got a lot of detail. We've got some fog, we've got some smoke elements, we've got a uh, background sky, and we've got some really detailed um, diffused maps onto this rocky mountain. So let's create a new comp and we'll name this mountains. We'll make it full HD, make it 10 seconds, hit OK. Let's make a new solid and we'll make it red and we'll call this E3D. Let's get video copilot element and let's jump into scene setup. Okay, so here we are in element 3D and I'm going to be using this mountain model pack that I downloaded. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this. And we're gonna I use number eight. Okay, so here is the model pack. Now for the materials I used pro shaders stone and I use this stone wall material. So it looks like this. And for the environment I used uh, a backlight 2k number 35 just to give it that cool background reflection and we can bump up the single light maybe about 130 okay and let's turn on symmetry for the Z axis onto this top folder and then we can just slide it across here and we can use this just to stretch it out like that. Okay, that's all we need to do. And hit OK. And let's make a new camera. So Control or Shift C. We'll make it 80 millimeters. Hit OK. Let's just change this to quarter res. And let's just zoom out. Okay, let's first off go into the particle replicator, change this to 4, and we want to make a plane, and let's just turn up the shape scale, that will spread out the mountains, like this. And then we can go into the particle look and then go into particle rotation and random rotation. Maybe change this to about 140. So it looks something like this. Maybe I could zoom out even more just to show you guys what it looks like. It looks like that and let's go over to our render settings let's play with the physical environment and let's just turn up the exposure and let's just turn up the camera here And we can even rotate it. It'll give us a different look. Okay. And let's just change this to preview for now. Okay. So let's just get a, a K 
camera angle. Okay, so once you've got a camera angle you're happy with, we can add in our sky mirror. I use number 16, so I'm just going to drag it into. This is from the video copilot uh, jet strike, or was it flight extension pack or something? I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, you could. If you don't have one, you can always look one on Google, and I'm sure there's plenty on the internet. But for now, I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to position this like that. Maybe rotate it. Push it way back in Z space. And let's just push it even further back. And let's just scale it up. I'm holding down Shift to make it perfect. And let's just drop this down. Push it down. So there, we've got our sky map. Let's add in some lights now. So let's first hit AA and turn off accept lights. Okay, now let's make a new light. Make it parallel, hit OK. And let's just position it up here. So that our light is coming from this way. Oh, maybe we can make it a little bit towards that way because the sun is coming from that way. So we'll position there. We can even duplicate it and just maybe shine it a little bit this way just to get some dark areas lit. Okay. Let's bring this intensity down to maybe like. 100 and let's bring this maybe to 800 okay let's uh, enable fog for our mountains let's make it like a light bluish color let's make it Five percent, and we could turn up the distance so that our fog can start being faded from our front area. There we go, and then we can even turn on ambient occlusion, screen space, and we can just bump up the intensity. So like that. I'm just gonna turn it off for now for just for rendering sake. Okay, so let's make our haze now. So let's duplicate our element 3D layer. And let's change this, or let's rename it actually to haze. Okay, let's solo it for now. Let's go into our output, change it from composite to world position. Let's rotate, rotate it 90 degrees. And bring it up. So we got like this haze happening or like this fog. So that looks pretty cool. Maybe about, let's just bring it down to there. Let's go ahead and add a tint. Let's change it to more like a little bit of a blue color. Okay, and let's change it to screen 
so there we go we got like a little bit of fog happening here we can even just give it an exposure just to make it a little stronger and we can even just add a curves adjustment just to give it a little bit of contrast okay all right let's add in an adjustment layer we we'll rename this CC let's add in tint color correction curves let's duplicate that and we might even add a glow depending what it will look like okay so let's change this to 20% and I want to give this a nice uh, darkness color. So we're going to crush the white a bit and just give it a nice rich contrast here. And let's take away some red. And let's add in some blue. Let's just add a bit more red. And then we can add our glow. Make it maybe 0.2. And let's just spread that out. Let's add in a final curves on top of everything. Like that. Okay, that's looking cool. Maybe we could take away a bit of red on, on our mountains. Okay. Let's add in our animation. So let's go to the end, hit A, Shift P, set keyframe for both. Let's slide back to the front and let's just zoom in here. And maybe we can rotate it. Maybe you can just slide this up a bit. Yeah, so somewhere about here is pretty good. And maybe we could just slide it up a bit. Okay, so we have our animation happening here. And one final detail you, you can do is add in some smoke elements to it. So we can just add in some smoke here. So let's just go to the end of our animation and let's just add in these atmosphere into our calm. These are Video Copilot's Action Essentials 2. So let's do it one by one. So let's focus on this one first. Let's draw a mask around it. And hit F and feather it out fair bit, maybe about 90, and then we can slide this across here and make it a 3D layer. Let's position this somewhere here. change the opacity down to maybe like 50% and let's push it back in z-space and let's just scale it up 
and for this one we can add another mask on top and hit F maybe about 90 pixels like we did change it to a 3d layer and we can position it somewhere out here and we can just like rotate it and then just scale it oh no sorry send it back and we're going to offset the time a bit so something like that and we can just keep doing this for the rest of them and we can just keep duplicating it and just you know just mix it up a bit so maybe if we can duplicate this one and we could scale it down and push it back here and push it, bring it back here and maybe we could like push it here and we can offset the time like that and just randomize it so I'm just going to do this quickly okay so we've got some smoke elements here it's a very subtle effect but um, major impact on your scenery so maybe for this one I could just slide it a bit more here just let it fill the screen here maybe for this one I could scale it up like that okay and there you have it so that's how we create our mountain scene so you could do a few more adjustments to it but um yeah I'll just let the experimentation to you guys so thanks guys my name's David I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations Please give a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down to below if you have any questions. But I will see you in the next video.